humidity. That's what makes the big fat roots, lots of roots. Roots that come out of trunks in the middle of the air. Roots that grow over dry oak. And amazing, delicate flowers. I love humidity, and so do my plants. And on that note, I got a EVAP 3 Vornado Evaporative Whole Room Humidifier to help with my humidity needs. And I took it out of the box, prepared to do a review on it, and went to fire it up. Sounds like a fan. Ooh. I don't like that. Let's try it. Well, when you open it up, the first thing you see is that they expect this product to be perfect, which it's not. And if it's not, they will make it right. I called that 800 number, spoke with a gentleman, I believe his name was Brad. Um, he was no pushback about any problem with the unit. He just said, disable your old one and we will send you a new one. And a couple days later, literally, I got a brand new one. I was very impressed with that process. So the EVAP 3 does 700 square feet of coverage. It does control humidity automatically. Two fan speeds. Push button controls. One and a half gallon capacity. And it does include two wicks. They definitely are serious about this uh, customer being satisfied. So I will say nothing but good things about them from now on. Uh, the Vortex distribution that they show is what they're famous for. Uh, the packaging was very um, safe. It's a good looking unit. There are the controls in the top there. Humidity, fan speed, and power. Down at the bottom is where the air comes in and hits the wet pads, evaporates the water, and sends it into the air. The water is kept in this very uh, sturdy and attractive, I think, reservoir. There's a check valve on the bottom. So once it's full and that's back on, you can hold this in any position and it will not leak. It stays upside down, so you can put it in the bottom of your sink. Take the check valve off, fill it up. Put the valve back on. Good to go. Some have a different reservoirs, but this one is a good one. There's the power head. Uh, the fan and motor are in there. I think Vornado could have sent me just that part and I would have been okay, but that's their call. Here are the two uh, evaporative pads. They're pretty thick. You can pull them out. You need to replace them and put them back in. They fit pretty snug, so they get a good uh, tight seal around them. One thing about evaporative coolers is they do hold water. Water does tend to accumulate uh, bacteria and whatnot. Um, so you want to be able to clean these pretty easily, especially the base. So there's a little uh, thumb screw there. You can loosen that, pull the top off. And there is the base. And you can pull the uh, filter pads out of the filter pad housing and 
Vornado recommends one teaspoon of calcium hypochlorite or bleach to a gallon of water for their cleaning. Do not use the dishwasher. The replacement is much better. Tent. So here I wanted to test it. I put it in my kitchen. I have some magnetic uh, min-max humidity and temperature gauges that I've put in various spots. There are two of them right there. I actually added a third one to the right of the 56 inch one at right at the start of this. And then 12 feet away, on top of the Fido Man statue, is uh, another gauge. I'm also going to do a time lapse. Here you can watch the humidity steadily rise pretty much the entire time that it's on. It's impressive for this room because the uh, furnace has a big vent that goes right in that room. There are no doors, so it's a large space, but it did well. Some people say humidity lingers in the room afterwards for like a di half a day, but that's not true, as you can see. These are the results of the humidity test. I was expecting, you know, 20, 25 percentage point increases, but that didn't happen. But I also understand the physics and the big difficulties of humidity, especially in Colorado where I am. So. It's all good. Any extra humidity is a benefit. So overall, outstanding customer service for Vornado. I really like the gallon, one and a half gallon reservoir that doesn't spill. Uh, it's pretty. I like the clean black design. And uh, it's easy to keep clean. The only thing I kind of don't like about it, the indicator lights are pretty bright at night, either for humans or plants. And the, uh, if you want to control it with a controller, uh, it's not going to be very easy because of the digital on off. But overall, I would definitely recommend this to anybody for a medium sized application. Thanks for watching, everybody. Take care.